Well, the report was the U.S. Preventive Services Report, you know, how to prevent disease. After all, in the new healthcare uh, environment, we're interested in prevention mm -hmm. and health rather than illness, get the people before they uh, die of lung cancer, stop the smoking first. So in all aspects of medicine, that's of interest. So the report said that we should be screening for depression among pregnant women. It's a very good idea. This is a pregnant women. It used to be pregnancy was a time of great joy and happiness. And of course, when the studies were done, it showed that it's a time for some women of, of great anxiety and depression, especially if their primary relationships are having problem. So they recommended it. Well, we know that if depressed pregnant woman is screened, she'll get a medication because it's cheaper, it's easier, it's available. The long-term effects of medication uh, on the fetus, on the developing fetus, not all that clear. What did the report recommend? They said CBT should be used. Well, CBT is a terrific treatment. Aaron Beck is a superstar and a good friend and a role model for us. Uh, however, there have been many IPT studies with depressed and postpartum women, and we couldn't figure out why it didn't get mentioned. And we think that IPT is a good, the whole theory behind it is a good one for pregnancy because you have a transition to being a mother, you have disputes uh, that occur during the pregnancy, uh, you have loss of change of job, there's so many other things that happen. And that's, manuals have been written about the adaptation of IPT for depressed pregnant women. Uh, there's at least Meg Spinelli's and Scott Stewart's manual, and I think there's probably one in England. 